Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony and AMD Rockham has been picking up more steam mostly because AI has taken off right Nvidia has been the dominant player and they've been saying a lot with AI and here we are with AMD trying to catch up. I just did a video a little bit with Qualcomm and uh, Google and Intel doing open a or one API and wanted to get that more as a way away from CUDA and you have AMD's open source Rockham that has been well trying to do that same thing with their products. It would be interesting if the one API and Rockham kind of merged together at some point. Who knows if that ever happened but it would be interesting. But with this compute platform, right, people have been wanting more documentation, especially on the hardware side and so, you know, hardware side and getting some of that information out there. And, you know, users want to have particulars about, you know, um, what's, you know, what is able to access, what it can all do, as well as, you know, I was reading an article on video cards that was talking about how third parties also want this as well and there was a third party that I thought was creating like a was a tiny box or something and they were having troubles with the AMD side of things so maybe this is kind of in response to what tiny box kind of publicly stated and they're starting to opening up more things that is required and they've been you know they've been even talking about that they're going to have more the more open parts of their software stack to actually help that out as well as well as documentation so we will come to see how this all comes to fruition i'm guessing over the coming months here but amd does have to step up their game not only is hardware important and it seems like their hardware is getting you know good um traction right now but it is also the software ecosystem because if you don't have the software ecosystem how good is the hardware i mean if you have a great software ecosystem you have no hardware how good you know it's it's the same adage it's just in reverse there so you got to have a mixture and that mixture has to kind of grow up and it you know AMD feels like the, they're trying to get and push this forward and so we're going to see here um, in the next few months how AMD is going to tackle the documentation and the open sourcing of more software now they had the, what is it this node AI um, that is coming out that's going to be a tracker so the node ai what is it fuzzy hsa is going to be tracking and capturing feedback according to amd and so that they can you know so you can actually see what is the up updates that are happening on these projects so uh, according to them this is from amd's radion's twitter coming soon open sourcing additional portions of our software stack and more hardware documentation so this is something that I hope that they get out there, they keep on top of it, and they continue to focus on it. Because one way here, you see in the video I just did, Intel and Google and Qualcomm, they're trying to tackle NVIDIA from one side. AMD's been trying to do it with Rockham for a while, and NVIDIA is still taking off with their AI stuff and CUDA. So how are they going to... You know come in and start waning in a market where nvidia is so entrenched and you're still trying to get the documentation out you know fix issues get the open source more parts of the open source software out etc this is going to be really interesting because it, it is an uphill battle but it's something that you can address and you can actually improve upon quickly as you get stuff out and you have to when you make a promise I would say, you know, always under promise, over deliver, and always keep on track of what you're trying to promise and go through. One thing I have noticed uh, as a side note with the Radeon group is that their driver release notes now have potential dates on when things are going to be fixed in the known issue section. If you can do that some sort of, some sort of same thing here with their uh, Rockham side of things and say, you know, we're implementing this, this is a release date or this is expected release date, it, you know, even if it were to drift off by a little bit, uh, as a software developer, I understand there are delays. There's sometimes roadblocks that you don't see. But if you can get that out, all of a sudden, I think that you can um, start getting onto the right page and putting, you know, people at ease and, you know, people that invest in the platform 
you know, from a standpoint of buying the hardware and start implementing the software that, hey, AMD is supportive of this and working on making sure that this is better. And then your third parties that are using your hardware and selling it in an AI area know that the hardware that they're giving out to their users is something that they can also support without having to go all the way back to AMD and always ask AMD for questions on why something may or may not work. So you get some more ecosystems and more people looking into stuff and maybe of how to fix things or workarounds that then could then hopefully they get back to AMD at some point to make a better product and a better piece of software and hopefully they use access for users as well. So um, let me know what your thoughts are on the whole AMD releasing more, getting more documentation out, more open source software in the Rockham stack. Um, is AI something that you've been working on or using the Rockham stack something you've been working with? I, I know I've you know looked into it a little bit and dabbled here and there. I would like to see you know as these Rockham is going and uh, what is it one API um, from Intel that there be some sort of you know connection or some sort of you know togetherness there because having to implement for each is going to be difficult for any developer or any developer team to always keep on top of, top of it, especially let's say you're in CUDA right now, you still want to use NVIDIA stuff, then you have to choose between one uh, API and then Rockham, you know, let's say if you're using AMD hardware and then an Intel hardware, then you have to go between all three. That does get kind of, you know, why am I doing this at some points, you know, the developer starts looking at why, you know, so that's some of my thoughts on this but it, you know I like to see progress here and that's what AMD is doing hopefully that they get on top of it and do it a little more and video is out far and ahead and that everyone else has to catch up to where they're at so with that thank you so much for watching gray overload don't forget to like share subscribe hit the bell icon watch another one of my videos as it really does help out the channel and until next time God bless